Hey guys, I'm Dustin Barnes with the Jessamine County Public Library and welcome to Maker Monday. Welcome back to Intro to Mac Part 2. To get to the Finder folder on a Mac, we will be looking for the Finder icon pictured to the right. It should be either at the top or bottom screen of the desktop. Once you have located it, left click on it to open the File Explorer menu. The Finder photo looks very similar to a smiley face, blue and white square. The Launchpad helps you to find, organize, and easily open your apps. To open the Launchpad and quickly access your apps, click the Launchpad icon in the dock. Press the Launchpad key on your keyboard, if present, or pinch together your thumb and three fingers in gesture on your trackpad. When you enter Launchpad, the operating system shows you all of your apps. To open an app, simply click its icon. By default, items in Launchpad are in alphabetical order. You can rearrange icons on Launchpad by dragging them in the order you want. If there's not enough room to show all of your apps on one screen, Launchpad creates multiple pages. The dots at the bottom of the Launchpad screen show you how many pages of apps there are and which page you are currently viewing. To move between pages on your Launchpad, press the right or left arrow on your keyboard. Click a dot at the bottom of the Launchpad screen. Swipe left or right with two fingers on your touchpad. You can organize your apps into categories in Launchpad. Just drag and drop one icon into another. To see the contents of a folder in Launchpad, just click it. The other icons move out of the way so you can see the apps in the folder. You can also rename the folder by clicking its name in its view. You can also move items from one folder back to the main Launchpad screen. Simply drag an icon out of the Launchpad folder and let go. To exit Launchpad, open an app. If you want to exit without opening anything, press the Escape key or Launchpad key on your keyboard. Click the Launchpad icon or another app in the dock. Use the applicator switcher or mission control to select another app. Or pinch outward using your thumb and three fingers on your trackpad. Let's review. Apple and Windows operating systems can do the same things. However, have different looks and products that accomplish the job. Be careful when opening .exe files. Try to make sure you know where you downloaded it from before executing it. Try to run a virus scan once every week or two to make sure your computer is healthy. And now for keyboard shortcuts. By pressing a combination of keys, you can do things that normally need a mouse, trackpad, or other input device. The most common keyboard shortcuts include the Command key, Shift key, Option key, Control, Caps Lock, and Function. If you're using a Windows keyboard with your Mac, use the Alt key instead of Option and the Windows logo key instead of Command. To learn more shortcuts, check the menus of the app you're using. Every app can have its own shortcuts, and shortcuts that work in one app may not work in another. For a Mac, use Command X to cut, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, Command Z to undo the previous command, Command A to select all, and Command N to open a new document or window. Use Command P to print the current document, Command S to save the current document, Command Q to quit the app, and Option Command Escape to force quit an application. Tap the power button whenever you need to turn on your Mac or wake up your Mac from sleep. Hold for 1.5 seconds while your Mac is awake to display a dialog asking if you want to restart, sleep, or shut down. If you need to force your Mac to restart, press the Control Command Power button. In your documents, press Command V to make something bold, Command I to italicize, Command U to underline, Command semicolon to find misspelled words, press Control A to move to the beginning of the line or paragraph, Control E to move to the end of the line or paragraph, and Control O to insert a new line after the insertion point. And lastly, some finder shortcuts include Command D to duplicate the selected files, Command E to eject the selected disk or volume, like a SD card, Command N to open a new finder window, and Shift Command N to create a new folder. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you learned a lot and had fun. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching.